Many of the people who um, have attacked the United States were big boosters of the U.S. invasion and occupation of Iraq, which I think is pretty widely understood at this point to have been a really bad idea and set in motion the disasters with which the United States is now facing uh, in, in the region, right? ISIS is a product of the, indirectly, the occupation of Iraq. So this is something that a lot of scholars within the field who actually knew something about the Middle East and knew something about Iraq um, raised warnings about before the invasion. Um, whereas at, at that same moment after 9-11, the people who were attacking us as apologists for terrorism or soft on terrorism or too critical of Israel um, were, were big boosters, by and large, of the invasion of Iraq. So I think, uh, in a way, we're, we're also defending scholarly expertise and knowledge and the, the deep long-term engagement that many of us have with different parts of this region and, and the peoples there and our uh, efforts, at least, to be in touch with what, what people in the Middle East actually think and how they see the world in a way which I think would be very useful to more fully inform debates, discussion of, of, of policy uh, and, and of this region in the United States.